Okay, folks, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I'm working on an HWH310 series. Uh, the panel up there, let me show you real quick, was, oh, oh, that's my back, sorry. All right, so that tells you, okay, has a dump valve. Now, when I push the power button, this little light right here was coming on and wouldn't stay on it would come on as soon as i release it would go off so we're going to work with that diagnostics but i'll tell you what what i've learned in the past is this you check power and grounds to every module first before you get into all your troubleshooting all right so before i get into all the troubleshooting guess what i'm gonna do check power and grounds well i'm gonna show you right here got a real nice you got to go to hwh site and bring all this stuff up okay and you got to know exactly what it is, what parts and all that, okay? So, what I've done, this is from the 12 accessory ignition switch. That's your ignition switch in on that one connector. I've made the box look like this, okay? Here, this pin right here, this arrow is number 10 power wire, black 6100. When you do this enough, you're going to see the 6100s are mainly all power circuits. All right, look. See, from 12 volt accessory, 6120. So you know 6120 is ignition, and 6100 is straight power from the uh, quick disconnect switch or the battery, coach battery, engine battery, some battery source. All right, so I'm going down, okay. It's going to be a little bit kind of a not a super professional video, but none of them are. Um, but to get to the point, they teach you what to do. All right, so here we go. I'm get a little light on the subject. All right. Well, right here, I disconnected this cable right here. Here. Look right there. Right. That one. Okay. That's the output side. What I'm worried about is this side, input. All right. Now, I could pull on my fuses and all that. Check it out. No. You know, first letter of them is all is E. All right. So, one... We want to check that circuit right there, number 10 power wire, black, and it's that pin, let me show you with the multimeter, leaving my big fat finger in the way, it's this pin, the D shape. So I'm going to look, holy moly, right there it is, that one, right there, okay, and here's the skinny one, ignition in is only one wire out of three. We call this connector three cavities. It holds one wire. Kind of like you got place for 32 teeth in your mouth, but you got a couple cavities and teeth missing. All right. So this is a two row by four cavities. All right. Watch. See two rows. Uh, one, two, three. I'm sorry. Did I say four? Yeah, I said four. Uh, two by three. So it's six cavities with... um couple all right a couple wires missing so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna put it in circuit 6100 okay and my ground i right, got the multimeter oh wait a minute the light went out on the multimeter remember folks i'm up under a dash so hang in there with me uh i'm gonna try to do my best get this thing to hang so you can see it because i got one hand on the camera all right, now, we're going to see if we're getting positive voltage into the module. Power and grounds. Every module, you do power and grounds. I'm in the background, folks, doing this. I'm keeping it on there. So the ground is that big white nut right there, the white wires. And I put right here. And, folks, i got 12.31. You see it right there? Let me try to get it close. 12.31. All right, so we got good voltage in. Now... We're going to go to the ignition switch signal, okay? Ignition switch signal is this three-pin connector right here, and it's only one wire going to it, this one. Now, this one says jack interrupt for room extensions. Well, we don't have that on there. We only got one wire on this three-pin connector right here, or three cavities. All right, so we're going to go to that one. It's a brown wire. All right, so take my red out. I'll go there and guess what I gotta do I gotta turn on that noisy darn ignition thing ready all right man Woo! we're listening all right so now we're gonna go to ground and we got
got 11.78. We have a little bit of a volts drop, folks. Okay. Remember, on the B plus coming in to the six pin or four pin connector or six pin, I'm sorry, and ground. We had 11.92. All right. Then we go to the ignition switch signal on a three pin center of the board. Ground. We have 11.7. Only about a 200 millivolt drop, okay? So we got them in. We got ignition in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start testing all these powers and grounds. All right. So I'm going to put you on pause get set up. Get rid of some of that noise. All right, folks. So what I did, remember the brown wire went in on a three-pin connector? Let me show you again. I'll show you on the wiring diagram. I'll show you the physical device. I did find a fuse that was blown. That's not the whole problem, but... That's part of the problem. Okay, let me turn it around. So we did confirm that D-shape one right there is 10 power, 6100 series, all right, four-digit wire. And that had straight from the batteries. And I said, all right, I'm going to turn the ignition on. And that's what it says. From 12-volt accessory, brown, 6100. It's got 6100 series is positive. All right, so, and 20 is the ignition. So we got voltage in. So it's supposed to go from air across the accessory fuse, which is ACC accessories, key on engine off, right? All right, so there's your ignition switch position, right? And now remember the old timers, right? Used to be able to go the opposite way with the ignition switch. All right, let me see if I can get it for you, right? There you go. That's off. An accessory was that one and then notice the dash lights are off right now watch there you go so that's key on engine off and if i turn it one more where the part bounces back that's key on engine cranking then it bounces back to key on engine running which is the same position as key on engine off off accessory off key key on engine off lights on right lamp test and then crank, yeah, here, and then it bounces back. So key on engine running, K-O-E-R and K-O-E-O, -E key on engine off for the same position. So off, key out, there you go. A little bit of noise there. So I'm back up. All right, so I got to go get me a 5 amp fuse. Now let's say you run into um, a bunch of fuses blowing on it. You put one in, boom, put one in, boom. Well, folks, you got dead short to ground. You can put a test light in there, all right, or you can buy a special tool that you put these little five amp thermal circuit breakers, or you can make them yourself. The little thermal circuit breakers, little metal cans at five, 10, 15, 20, 25 amps, and then you'll hear them pop. Well, what I do is I put like a little buzzer on, and then the fuse goes pop, right? The thermal circuit breaker pop. Well, they made one of them years ago in the 70s. I made my own little setup. But as years go by, dummy me didn't put in a patent for it, and they made one. So I missed out on that boat. But I'm just telling you, there's a couple ways to do it. You can use a test light. And you see the ball ball lit up. And if you can't, like you're in a coach, right? But you're back air working, you want to see, like, pulling on wires. You bring the test light out the window, and you see that it's on. And let's say you get down there by the driver's wheel, driver's side, you know, outside. And you pull in that little horn, and the light goes out. You go, oh. Go on, wait a minute, I pushed it back up, the harness and came back on. You found the area where your short to ground is, okay? Just a little bit of help there. All right, so I'm going to put you on hold, and I'm getting ready to go get some fuses. All right, here we are. I got a mini pair of uh, needle nose, and I got a good 5-amp fuse. All right, so there you go. Yeah, the camera's right there. All right, ready? Yep. There you go. All right, so here we go. Going down under, replace the fuse. I'll be back up, put you on hold. All right, so the fuse is up, the ignition's on. I'm going to look at it again, make sure it didn't blow. Turn it around. All right, now I'm going to show you what the panel does. It's not lit up, all right, which is a good thing. Now I hit this, it light comes on. I let it go, it goes off as soon as I do that. Okay, and the dump valve don't work, but... It's one of the complaints he had, but this has to stay on first, all right? So we're going to test a couple things. One, this panel has a harness behind it, all right? 
And she's probably seen better days some of them wires. We'll get there. I gotta get enough loose wire up in here for troubleshoot, okay? So I'm gonna have to probably pull this. And I don't know, it's it's going that way. Alright, so I'm gonna put you on hold and I'm gonna get me a little bit of panel. But I'll show you real quick. The panel goes to here. Alright, to that back of that box back there, to the right side. Alright, that was that connector I had off. We got all this working. You got 12 volts coming in, you got accessory coming in. We got a good ground, okay? So now we're gonna do switched accessory and fused accessory from touch panel. I think it's pin two and three, okay? So it might be four and three. Two, three, and four are fused accessory, switched accessory, fused accessory. I don't see no other park, dump, ground. Remember I said every module you have to check power and grounds to, okay? So touch cable, cable input 15, right? And one of them's dead. All right, so here we go. So we got store and return, that's your jacks. Fused accessories, that's a positive. Switch accessories, that's a positive. Fused accessory is a positive. All right, now where's, where's the ground at? Seven is your ground. All right, so we gotta make sure we're using that ground. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put this on pause. I'm gonna get you set up underneath and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, okay? All right, so remember the light came on the panel, but as soon as I let go of that button, it went off, so. It's telling me that the module saw me tell the panel, tell the module that turn the light on, but it should have latched inside the module and stayed on. So let's find out what's wrong. Is it the touch panel? Is it the wiring harness? Or is it the big computer down there, HWH310 series? Okay. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna put you on hold. I'm gonna get set up, do some tests, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I did. Alright folks, I'm getting ready to wrap this video up short. I'm trying to keep them under 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you I had to pull that panel off out of here because I had to get a good amount of cable to troubleshoot properly. All right, and I got to test all these signals coming in. All right, so already we can see, see that blue wire? It's like pulling out of the damn darn thing, excuse me. All right, so there will be a continua continuation video on this. Whew, I just did. I got that off like in 10 minutes, that old panel, but kick my butt. Um, anyway, we'll continue on with this HWH system. When you apply power to the power button, the accessory switches on. We found, we found that the fuse down below was blowed. We were getting power. That still didn't resolve the issue. You know what blew the fuse? Now, and when we push the on button, power on button, the light comes on. When I hold it down, when I let it go, it goes off. So we're going to go through that diagnostic routine. But remember, what do you check all the time? Power and grounds to every module. What are we going to check on that control board, the switch panel? Power and grounds. Okay. We'll confirm that first. Even though sometimes the troubleshooting tree and the books, they don't get into that. All right. They go, oh, test this, test that, test this, ohm this out, do that. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying if you know how to read a wiring diagram, you don't need all that. But pass that. Check power and grounds to every module first. All right, thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Remember, what's our motto? Test, not guess. That's what we're doing here. And what's the next one? Safe travels. I mean, you can't fire burn bright. A lot of you know how to get a hold of me. Thank you very much. This is Jeff. Until the next video, which it will be troubleshooting the system. Thank you. Bye-bye.